Hello everybody, Kite562 here with another Tentacle Tales of Terror for you. Now, this series is weekly and I upload every Tuesday at 4pm of every month to the best of my ability. Now, again, the episode is called Memory. Now, Memory is a one-page short story, but I found it really thought-provoking and interesting, so if you enjoy HP Lovecraft and enjoy listening to my journey as I document it on my channel, so sit back, relax, and listen to what I have to say about Memory by H.P. Lovecraft. Now, Memory is a very abstract story with many meaning to who may read this story in the future. So, my interpretation of this short story is that two mythological beings, a demon and a genie, basically witnessed the end of the earth while nature slowly took back what was theirs, what was taken from it all those centuries ago. So, my favorite quote from this story is, Their deeds I recall not for they were but of the moment. Memory, page 49. So it turns out the demon, or daemon, D-A-E-M-O-N, so it turns out this demon is named Memory. The only other being they can talk to is a genie. So I just thought this was a really interesting and well-illustrated story with what little we were given, but it still really drew me in. It really got my brain thinking about how vast we are as a human race and how much we've advanced technology throughout the centuries and millennia. And this just seems like a story where if you go too far, the world itself goes into a forced reset. So I just thought that was a really interesting take on this story as a whole. So, but I have to say the beginning line, in the valley of Nis, the accursed waning moon shines thinly, tearing a path up for its light with feeble horns through the lethal foliage of a great upas tree. Page 49 memory, and if I butchered that, I apologize. So, so I have to say it was a very abstract but enjoyable story. How did this valley fall back to a more primitive time is the question here in my mind. Did we as humans bear a huge burden for making the world devolve back to a more simpler state? After reading this story, I was taken back to when I first played The Last of Us, mainly when Ellie really wants to use a gun. Like, you're in this old abandoned mall, I think it was, where everything's just overgrown with foliage, flora, and fauna, and then it was just an all-around beautiful experience, beautiful scenery, but that's besides the point. This is more of an H.P. Lovecraft kind of thing, but that's what memory really really reminded me of. What's your interpretation of memory? Let me know down in the comments below. This is Kite562 signing out, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. And again, before I go, what's your favorite Lovecraft story? Let me know down in the comments too. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content from this channel. This is Kite562 signing out, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.